is up. I am a follow rider for the RSV and Tuono Demo Day. And I'll be riding bikes all day long. Right now I'm on an RSV4 RF and this shit is badass. It's so lightweight and compact and turns so quickly. The brakes are so good, suspension's so good. Oh man, this is a bad idea. I don't wanna buy it. Where? Shit. I should pay attention and stop talking. But yeah, so we got a little loop around Newport. We did it once already and it's really fun. Yeah, so hopefully it's gonna be a good day and I don't buy anything at the end of the day. It's got this color dash, which is sick and your phone could pair to it. Right now I'm in race mode. Yeah, so we only got a group of six people, so I guess it's not too hard to lead them around. I've never been a lead rider or follow rider before, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. And nobody gets a ticket. These bikes are freaking crazy. And I have a, a neon vest on, which is very fashionable. Yeah, this, I think this bike is like 21 or 22 grand. Pretty pricey, but it's worth it. I'd probably buy the standard version if I was actually gonna get one. But I really wanna see that new V4 Panigale that comes out before I make any purchase decisions. And I think there might be a, all the new bikes might be V4s, like the new Diablo and the new, uh, what's it called? Multistrada. Go, 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 go. more effortless to go fast on this bike than mine. It's got maybe 40 more horsepower than mine. It's insane. So I have the bike in race mode now. Uh, when I first rode it, I was on the highway and tried to accelerate and the bike made a lot more noise but didn't really go faster, which is weird. Uh, so yeah, now it's in race mode, so maybe we won't do that. Sucks. Ah. Double merge bullshit. Ah. I keep forgetting this bike has a quick shifter. As long as we're not going back south on the 55, that would be the worst. Ah, it's still early and there's traffic. So we're taking another group out, uh, second group of the day, and I'm on the Tuono factory. This is one of the bikes I thought about buying. And the whole reason I came to help out for this demo ride is because I wanna ride these bikes all day long. 
just going once around the block isn't good enough, I don't think. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get a good idea by the end of the day uh, if I like these or not. But so far, I do. I just got on this one. It didn't seem, I don't know, it didn't seem as fast as the other, but I didn't really, maybe I didn't get on it hard enough. And that the quick shifter is a game changer. If you ever ridden a bike with a quick shifter, you need to like ASAP. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, that's fun. I really want to take this to the track. Holy shit, that would be crazy. <laughs> old people, don't stop. So now I guess I'm leading the group. I'm on the RSV 4RF and it is awesome. And there's another group of Moto Guzzi's, but I'm not following them or I'm not leading them. Do you want to lead or you want me to lead? Am I going to lead or are you going to lead? All right. So I didn't catch that on camera, but a cop uh, talked to some of the guys up front. They were going a little crazy. So hopefully they don't get tickets. But uh, yeah, and this RF is awesome. Holy shit, it's awesome. I kind of wanted a bike I could uh, be comfortable on, but man, it just feels so good. It's, uh, it's like butter. Super flickable, super light. It feels a lot lighter than the uh, Tuono, even though it's the same, just about the same. Yeah, the Tuono I was riding, the battery died. I tried to crank it uh, to move it to the front of the line, and it it would not it would not crank at all. So they put it on a battery tender, and Gus is riding his bike to lead the group. We're in the neighborhood again. Probably gonna do this loop 20 times today. I think I'm already on the fifth or sixth loop. Hopefully lunch is soon. Taking another group out. I'm riding the RSV4 RF again, and there's so much traffic I can't really get on it this time. Uh, yeah, man, it rides so smooth and so fast. The brakes are so strong. Man, this is awesome. If only it weren't 22 grand. I can't really make videos when I'm trying to uh, herd cats behind me. It's so fun. This bike is super, you know, it's a super bike. It's got aggressive, uh, it's a very aggressive riding position, but it's not uncomfortable for some reason. It seems like the foot pegs are up pretty high and that bars are low, but it's not, it's not really bothering me. But then again, we're only going out in short little spurts. So I'm not taking it out all day. Uh, man, I really want to though, it's so fun. It has so much power, holy crap. I thought my triple nine was fast. Oh no, it is not. <laughs> I was finished with another run group and the traffic's sucking more and more. Uh, anyway, what does RF mean? Is it racing factory or rich fart? Who knows? It's li literally no one knows what RF means. Yeah, man, this bike will even uh, Bluetooth to your phone. So if anybody calls you, it comes up on the dash saying, uh, John Smith is calling you. And then you say, F that, John Smith is a dick. I don't want to talk to him. 
But yeah, your bike will let you know when your asshole friends call you. And maybe text, I'm not sure. I haven't demoed that function yet, and I haven't really read up on the bike so much, but uh, that's kind of cool. I guess all the new bikes are gonna start doing that. Yeah, I haven't got, gotten to ride the Tuono factory again. I think the battery is still messed up. So it's kind of a bummer. Is that the one I would buy? Everybody's okay. Kind of ran through that light. It's got a brake sensor and a yaw control. Kind of cool. The girl's checking us out. Up. So to wrap up my RSV4 RF review, this bike is a beast. It, if you ever thought you've ridden a superbike, but you haven't ridden one of these. So if you ride an older 1000 and you don't think these are that great or they're just, oh, they're okay, I guess. No, you really, really need to ride one. It is life changing. The quick shifter is awesome, the dash is awesome, the brakes are awesome. It's super, super fast. It's pretty flickable. It's, it's, a, it's an incredible bike. It's an incredible motorcycle. And I kinda wanna buy one now. I was thinking about getting something more comfortable, but man, this bike is just so sweet and so easy to ride. You can ride really fast, very, very easily, and I think that's the best thing about it. And it's, com not, it's not terribly uncomfortable at least on little short spurts. The one thing that's kind of weird is that the, uh, the clutch has a really long throw. So about half of the movement is dead. And then at the very, then the last half is where it actually engages. I have pretty long fingers and it's hard for me to disengage the clutch, but I'm sure you can adjust that out. What is Gus doing? Gus is riding a Multistrada with his hazards on. get a very good impression of the Tuono factory. I only got to ride it a couple times. It's just as fast as, almost as fast as this. It's, you know, 95% as fast as this, it seems. Um, that's just my initial seat of the, seat of the pants impression. Uh, I don't know stats. I just, I just know how it feels when I ride it and what makes me want the bike so much more. But I think the bike for me would probably be the Tuono just because it's a little cheaper and it's a little more practical and I could ride it all day. What's up? Everybody's good? Yeah, these, these bikes are crazy. All tastes nice too. This is probably gonna be my last go around. I'm getting, I wanna relax, go home and sit on the couch. And then I'm going uh, to hang out with friends tonight, so I don't want to get too tired. But yeah, guys, thanks for, for subscribing. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, which is very exciting that uh, 95 people will like listening to my annoying voice talk about bikes. So that's awesome. Thanks for, thanks for subscribing, and make sure you click the like button. That would help me out a lot. So yeah, guys, take it easy. Peace.